Yo, 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 man. What is going on, man? We back with another video. This is the most disrespectful moments in anime history. Part seven, man, by CJ the Chill, man. Hey, I got some lovely ladies on here, models out here. You know what I'm saying? Like runway model type stuff. You feel me? But hey, go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. My name's Jaded King. I go by JK Royality. I'm making my royalty reality. You can find me on Instagram. TikTok and Snapchat at JK Royal ITY. Thanks. Hi, I'm Kayla. Um, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, or Snapchat. It's Kayla Van Breco. Hi, I'm Opal. You can find me on TikTok um, at Crushed Opal or Instagram Crushed dot Opal. Okay. That's crazy. Okay, bet, bet, hey. I like that dress. I like that dress. That's something different right there. A swim competition today, so I was trying to win. Okay. <laughs> can't really see that. Trying to win. Okay, okay. Did you win? <laughs> what happened? Who won? You know, it was rigged, so I didn't win. <laughs> I would have gave you first place. I would have gave you first place. So then Shogo asked, yo, where's my homie at? Oh, yeah, your home dog that look like Brock. Yeah, young blood. I got you. He right here. Oh my god. He waiting for you in the gulag right now. Hey, <laughs> old nigga, where you going? I want to make a deal for the OnlyFans. Hey, come back. <laughs> Y'all ever seen one of his videos before? First time, right? Yeah, first time. Oh, Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for yet another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we observe some of the most outlandish, violent, and disgusting acts to ever be committed, and some that we don't even talk about. <laughs> so yeah, you little freaky ass because that keep on asking me to put this in here. Stop it. Get some help. <sighs> so yeah, let's just get started, man. <laughs> All right, first up is a actual three in one. So uh, the Tempest Federation violating the church. Now, a lot happened during this war, but the amount of disrespect dished out by these three specifically is just <laughs> absolutely disgusting. So they ended up pulling up on these fatherless bastards because they coming back to get it back in blood after they ran up on their village the first time. And these dudes deserved every last bit of the violation that got served to them. Like you really thought you was going to Ben Rimuru's block and walk away from that bitch unscathed? Nah, nigga, you signed your death papers and you are a fucking opposition, a dead one at that. But we start off with this Brock looking motherfucker talking shit to Hakuro. And see, here's the thing, bro walked into his own death. You wanna know why he walked into his own death? Simple, you should know to not f with old niggas in anime. Like my boy, you are from our world. How do you not know this? You should know that the old heads are always cracked. And then you see him standing like this, looking like, oh, why well, hello there, sunny, wonderful weather we're having today, isn't it? Nigga, you gonna die. So then Unk start looking at him like, you know, Sonny, I really can't stand you and your new generation. You see, back in my day, we didn't have pusses like y'all. All y'all do is stay inside and scroll on that sell your device. What is that y'all be on? Oh, tip. It's caught TikTok, you fucking boomer. Uh, you kids are gonna make me dive cringe before Father Time catches up to me. So he starts fighting Hakuro and he takes this little nigga to school. Unk started blocking all of his attacks and he hasn't even moved from the same spot he started in. And he looking at him like, well, come on, sonny boy. You was talking all that shit and now look at your dumb ass. You're baffled, aren't you, you dumb fuck nut? <laughs> Fuck you, you prehistoric <laughs> boomer! So then Kyoto starts blitzing him with his all-seeing eye. And this is where this idiot shot himself in the foot. So Unk started weaving all of his attacks. And then he looked at his dumb ass and said, Oh, you think you're fast, youngin? My eyes have already caught up to yours, boy. Now let me show you speed. Water breathing form 69. Chris Water Slash! <laughs> Dang. Fatality. Unk wins. <laughs> this man just sliced the bros. I mean, how he gonna be that fast and he ain't even moving though? Seriously. 
That's kind of how like the Chinese movies be, you know, like the old Chinese movies. They ain't doing nothing. You don't know what they saying, but be that old dude. And he, he know all of it, man. That's crazy. Clean off, grabbed his head and said, uh, now see, look, your youngsters move too fast. You want to use all that acceleration bullshit and look where I got you. Headless. <laughs> your ugly ass probably never even got head yourself. What a sad life. Now use all this extended time you gave yourself to think about your actions. Dang. So after the first fatherless idiot has been taken care of, we cut over to the second one. So this man Shogo fighting big homie Geld. So obviously Shogo talking shit like the fatherless bastard he is, but little did he know he was about to get adopted. Cause this man Geld was about to sun his ass, but bro started hitting him with that rock. So then he started screaming and saying, fuck you, you fucking pig. Really? Pig? I'm a orc, you racist ass bastard. You know what? I should chop your balls off. Wait, oh, wait, wait, no. hold on, big homie. I'll give, you, I'll give you all my money. You know what? I'll give you my Sarah J OnlyFans. This subscription's worth $50. Gail, you ain't <laughs> disposed of this sorry ass nigga yet. Hey, my bad, OG. I was just about to chop his balls off. So then Shogo asked, yo, where's my homie at? Oh yeah, your home dog that look like Brock. Yeah, young blood, I got you. He right here. Oh my God. He waiting for you in the gulag right now. Hey, hey old nigga, where you going? I want to make a deal for the OnlyFans. Hey, come back. A few moments later. Man, hey, yo, ho, where you at? Um, excuse me, nigga. I have a name. You see, this is why you and your nigga don't get no head. I, 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 shut up. Nobody cares. Listen, give me that ass. Huh? <laughs> so what? this man is choking out the girl to take her powers, Yeldon Hakuro standing outside the tent like, mm, mm, mm. Who let him cook? I don't know, Unc, but I'll tell you this, he ain't cooking shit. So this man Shogo come out the tent, bro got Kuraga now, and he like, yeah, I'm cooking! <laughs> you ain't cooking shit. Shut up, you fat ass pig, before I turn you into bacon, nigga. So this man <laughs> Geld is sick of it at this point. The bro starts walking to him and says, before I kill you, I will give you the pleasure of learning my name. I am Geld. But the orc holes in the village love to call me Tyrone. And that is what you Ooh, will be calling Tyrone. after I pound you into a pile of shit and add you to my roster of bitches. <laughs> Shut up, piggy. Get ready to become a ham and cheese. And get ready to become my son. Ah! <laughs> Where do you think you're going, whole ass nigga? So this man Gel just starts mm. pummeling him into the ground. So then he tells him, Well, look at here. Looks like you turned yourself into an immortal punching bag. Congratulations. You played yourself. Now let's see how long you can regenerate till your MP wins. <laughs> what? Go ass nigga. Bitch ass, pussy ass, punk oh. ass nigga. I'll beat the dog shit out of your dumb ass. Captain D's looking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so y'all probably you probably don't watch the crazy anime ones, do you? Uh, which one do you watch? I haven't seen this. Y'all watch One Piece, Dragon Ball Z. Like, what's your anime? Yeah, yeah, I've seen One Piece. Oh, okay. One Piece. I like. I like Dragon Ball, but lately I've been watching Attack on Titan. Attack on Titans. I still uh, gotta see that, man. They be saying that's good. I ain't gonna really count. Good. The only one I seen was Dragon Ball. <laughs> I haven't seen Dragon Ball. You ain't seen Dragon Ball. It's good. It's good. That's the first anime yeah. I ever watched. Yeah, dang, I ain't gonna lie. It was just a prank, bro. Tell me, boy, what's my name? <laughs> I can hear that. Ah, da, 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 da. What's my name, nigga? Tyrone. <laughs> That's what I thought. Now hand over Sarah J's OnlyFans. Then Ooh. you can go join your homie in the gulag. <laughs> okay, here you go. Here you go. Oh, Excellent. he actually gave him the OnlyFans? I wish you luck in the gulag. Oh, you going to... See, Just I thought he was going to spare his life. Mm-mm. I mean, he gave well, the OnlyFans. I thought he was going to spare it for that. You know, right? Like in Naruto when he said Susano or no Susano. Like, <laughs> 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 Oh, 
This is the Gulag. In here, you fight to win back your life. Hmm. Now you see, what you just witnessed was a alternate universe. Cause bro got bailed out by this level 99,000 ass wizard. But I mean, bro still did take a trip back to the lobby because a level 99,000 wizard took his body. But you wanna know who didn't get bailed out? Everybody else. This nigga Rimuru went on a fire sale. Bro boosted his KD so hard when he killed this whole damn army. Nigga stood over everybody, lined up each shot precisely, and hit him with the <laughs> Kill Trocity, kill him, Jaro. Oh Lord, what the hell is happening? Lord Farquaad the fifth, please calm down, sir. Yes, me lord. With my unique skill spearhead, you should be able to escape the enemy and not get head down. Oh yes, excellent, excellent. Get me the fuck out of here, please. Right away, sir. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord, we have <laughs> Y'all could have let him escape. Hey, long! So after Rimuru finishes head tapping everybody, he comes down and Rosin starts trying to talk and start saying, now you stop right there, you dirty, filthy monster. I shall let you know that the nation of Falmouth and our king, the great Lord Farquaad V, do not negotiate with terrorists. Good, because I didn't come here to negotiate shit. Oh, man. Oh, Lord, please hear us out. Please, please, negotiations. Yes, yes, please don't shoot. Fine, I won't shoot. Yes, you see, uh, would you like to become a territory? I mean, you're still gonna have to pay taxes and shit, but uh, that's better than being enemies, right? Taxes? I don't do W-2s, fucker. Wait! We, we, we have TurboTax to help you. Uh, I'll even let you get away with tax evasion. <laughs> Not TurboTax, oh, what? I thought you said you wouldn't shoot. Yeah, nigga, I lied, and that's against the law. <sighs> you fucking fed! So after this, Rimuru decide to take everybody else's soul. So he can get enough to become a demon lord. But after that, bro started wobbling. Nigga look like he just got straight off the henny. So then he ends up summoning this broken ass nigga Diablo. Cause bro is somehow still alive. And dear God, what he did to this man was just an absolute violation. Bro sent a fireball at him. He blew it away. Man summoned a golem. We backhanded that bitch. Then to finish him off, he hits this man with this mean ass light skin stare. <laughs> Killed him with a stare. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> All right, uh, next up is this big ass Tyrone ass nigga. Just being a bully. I mean, first of all, look at this man's name. Charon, Charon. Nigga, that looks like and sounds like Tyrone to me. I mean, look at this big ass nigga pull up behind them. Absolutely asserting dominance over the situation. So he kind of gave me like a Deadpool type of vibe. I don't know why. I can see that. That bandana yeah. or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Y'all seen any of these anime so far? Y'all never seen them? I haven't seen these first two. These first he two? Like, hey, how y'all doing? I'm looking for a mentally unstable woman with pink hair. Is that you by any chance? Uh, maybe. Hey, man, what do you think you're doing, bro? How about maybe. you just go fuck? What? Dirty ass nigga, touch my goddamn all white geek, nigga, the fuck? <laughs> Lame man, nigga. So he starts chasing down Inka and trying to capture her. But then Shinra comes in and hits him with the knee. And bro ain't even move. Dang. And then he gets up with all this confidence and starts saying, Hi, my name's Captain Saver Ho, Shinra Kusakabe at your service. <laughs> nigga, what is going through your mind? You just need a nigga at full speed and he didn't move? Bro, oh yeah, we I'd running be worried about my that. safety and her safety at that point. I mean, she already a lost call. She batshit crazy. Like my guy, she don't want to be saved. So my boy, you walked into this whooping yourself. So then this man Charon said, "All right, gang, you want to scrap then? Let's scrap then. Squad, hype me up." And then this man Shinra kicks him in the face, but he. It and said, Ah, oh, so we just gonna kick a nigga in the face during Black History Month. All right, then, nigga. Step on your lame ass. And then he starts dragging him. Oh my God, Shinra, bro. This is why we do not try to be Captain Save a Ho. Look at the situation you're in. You are fighting a nigga so strong, the ground is exploding when he walks. But I know some of y'all gonna be saying, But CJ, he's supposed to be a hero. That's against his morals. Nigga. 
your morals. Hey, hey, but people are shit right here, though. <laughs> ain't no way, bro. Ain't no fucking way. During Black History Month, too. <laughs> Yo. Uh, <laughs> man, Freezer would be so proud right now. They both start talking about how they're going to take Inca back with them. But she ends up saying, nah, f both of y'all niggas. So he walks over to her and says, hey, little girl, you better shut the f up for I slap shit out your little stupid ass, you hurt? Hell no! So later on, while they she keep on smiling. fighting, Jinra starts finding a way to go find Inca again. But then this man looking at him like, the fuck? <laughs> Where you think you going, Captain Save a Ho? You know what? <laughs> Let me bring your bitch ass back down to Earth. So this man jumps into this stratosphere, grabs bro, and starts slamming him through the building. God, I hope these people have home insurance. But Dog started flipping himself, but look at him. <laughs> This landed and hit this smirk. Oh my goodness, Tyrone! I even forgot to mention this motherfucker's blindfolded. But no, no, look at Shimmer real quick. So they about to capture her. So he's like, hey, stop right there. But she looked at him like this and was saying sh like, fuck off. I don't need your saving ho ass nigga. I live for the streets. I die for the streets. I love the chaos. <laughs> so oh, stop worrying about me and go get a dental appointment with them fuck ass teeth. Oh, yeah, those teeth is messed this up. This nigga is crazy. So they started scrapping again. So Shinra kicked him. He ate the kick. Chopped this oh. nigga. Then bro said, Clap! Then he backhands him. Oh my God, somebody called CPS. No, 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 no. This is when they got crazy. He has his squad jump him. Like and the like gang that. initiation is this. Then he charges up a Kamehameha and fries this nigga point blank. Mm. God, look at him, bro. It's like a burnt piece of charcoal. The soul has left his body. But with the power of plot armor, bro somehow got up. So Shiver got in his zone, got his hands right, and said, Fresh up, me. So he ends up hitting a final smash on that nigga. Bro has <laughs> left the stage. So you gotta be thinking, oh, this fight's over. Bro's knocked out, right? Yeah, uh, no. Bro gets up and sucks the oh, yeah. shit out of this nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, hit him with a rage art. Look at his body. Uh, it's in the wall. Uh. Hey, but I mean, he got up again just to get told off by crazy shawty, then slap in the face once more. So while she walking off with the Evangelist, this man Shinra is so mad. Bro, all beat up his shit in the corner. Then he started yelling at her like, fuck, I'm gonna kill you, stupid bitch. Oh my God, you do not know how happy that just made me. What you just said made me so warm and hot inside. <laughs> Please try your best. Wait. Just let a nigga smash. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I ain't touched this anime in a minute, but Luffy smacking the shit out of Bellamy. Ah, man, this is one of the most deserved ass whoopings that was done with absolutely no effort. So the straw has pulled up in Jaya, and they end up running into the Bellamy pirates, being some damn oh, yeah. dickheads. Look at this motherfucker. Bro looked at Luffy and said, boy, if you don't get your dirty ass out of my face, here, take some money, nigga. Get your drip up, nigga. Trash ass with them <laughs> worn out jeans and them busted ass sandals. Y'all yeah, seen this one? Yeah, I've one seen piece. One Piece. You see One Piece? Uh, Who ain't seen One Piece? Yeah. I've seen it, but not this episode. I never finished. You never finished it. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. You ain't lying. You get your ass over here. Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. But then later on, they're at the bar and they meet Bellamy. So, bro, walk up in there like, oh, so yeah, the guy worth 30 million. Who the fuck's this guy? I don't know, but he looks like a minority. <laughs> So bro offers Luffy a drink, but he slams his face into the Dang, counter. He was so just trying to get his to beat him. The whole bar <laughs> started throwing shit, and then they just started jumping him. But the thing is, they wasn't doing nothing because they ain't give a fuck. They ain't give a fuck about the nigga till they ran up and stole the gold that they needed. So then later that night, this dude runs up in the bar and he's saying, Bail me! You need to get the fuck out of here now! What are you talking about with your ugly ass? Them two dudes that you beat up, them dudes is Timothy! Look! <laughs> but then all these dudes 
rolling up realizing dude's bounty ain't no 30 mil. They ain't get the new patch notes. Bro, shit was 100 mil. Them niggas was speechless. Then bro saying, b -b -b bail me. You best get the stamping. You best hope he doesn't come get his get back. Man, he ain't gonna do shit. 100 mil my ass. <laughs> they is pussy. You know what? <laughs> You're right. You shouldn't be scared of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Bellamy! Get your bitch ass out there! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to warn you, Bellamy. Shut your bitch ass up. So this man Bellamy walk outside and he see Luffy standing on top of this tower looking like he Batman or something. But then, bro, <laughs> this is goofy, ah, devil fruit, bro. I cannot stand this fucking fruit at all, dog. Bro look like Slinky Dog with this shit. So Bellamy's like, oh, so you can't get your get back. Nah, I mean, not for real. I just need to go. I don't give a fuck about your dumb ass. So they start fighting, and this man Bellamy looks like he's actually him. With this slinky dog, machillin' man ass fruit. So this man Luffy falls all the way down. Why this man Bellamy talking shit and his whole crew in the background talking like, Yeah, that's right. Finish his trash ass. Yeah, that's right, bum ass nigga. So then this man Bellamy uses spring hopper, hopping around like an uncontrollable idiot. Bro looking like a kid who OD'd on Flintstone gummies. And Luffy's just standing there like, sick of shit. So our bros hopping around, bro asked him, gah, 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 gah. Do you even know how to throw a punch? Gah, 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 gah. So this man <laughs> Luffy lifts up his hand and says, So you wanna know if I can throw a punch, right? Alright then. Fuck around and fuck One punch? Bro, punch okay. the <laughs> dog water out of him. Flattened his stupid ass for everybody to see. <laughs> nonchalantly puts back his hat on. Oh no, bro. Dog hit him with the nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> and look at his crew. They looking like, hey, bro, you, you good? D this a fluke, right? Nigga, get your ass up. But no, bro was out. <laughs> he not his teeth He's missing and everything, but he better get ready for some dentures. Bro, the imprint. so bad he ain't even wake up till we got to dress Rosa. He straightened his legs out. Knuckles still on his temple. <laughs> About this. That was good. That was funny. Quality. <laughs> the last part when he had the springs was just kind of crazy. I don't know if y'all peeped that when he was on the ground. He had the springs on his face. <laughs> that springs was kind of funny right there. You know, dang, I got to see One Piece, though. I got to see it. One Piece is fire. So good. Love it. This is good. I like, like the boss fights and stuff when they're intense and stuff. You know, you spend so much time waiting for an anime to get good, you know? Mm -hmm, yeah. Thanks. It's funny too. It's, it's super funny. Luffy is just a funny character. The whole the whole group is. I can see uh, that one was good. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all go follow these lovely ladies. Thank y'all so much for coming out, man. Y'all hit the like, hit the sub, man. It's the fat red guy, man. I'm signing. No, you guys have a wonderful day, man.